Hello, this video will show you how to use Sprinter with Octane. You can run tests manually using Sprinter in Octane. Click Settings and toggle on Use Sprinter to run manual tests. So you can edit tests using Sprinter or run tests using Sprinter. Let's go to Test tab and choose a test. In the Steps tab, we can see that here is a button called Edit in Sprinter. Let's click it. So Sprinter opens automatically. So it must be installed on the same machine where the Octane client is used and you can edit a test there. I can move and edit and also delete the steps and click save. So let's go to Octane to see the update steps. Yeah, the first step is deleted. So when you are ready to run a manual test, you can click run in Octane. You can go to my work and click run here. And also Click continue run here. Click run here. So this is Sprinter's run tab and I can edit the wrong name. Okay, now let's run it. So this is a free view when you run. You can choose open or hide all these menus. Let me show you how convenient it is. Let's take this test as an example. First, let's go to Team Backlog View and Test tab. And then search in context by ID test number. Let's search this one. It shows nothing, so I can write the actual results here. Click here to save a screen capture as actual result for the step. If I'm not satisfied with the captured image, I can also click the button to customize it. It will open in a notation tools menu. I can choose zoom in or zoom out and also draw a rectangle to highlight some area and so on. Let's save to actual result. So click OK. So let's mark the step as failed. Yeah. And here we can see the run is also marked as failed automatically. So now we need to report a defect linked to the failed step. Click tools menu. We can create a smart defect easily. Okay, so we can just set the defect name and click Submit Defect. So we will see the defect in Octane. We can click End Run button to quit the run view and finish the run. And also it is allowed to run multiple tests. So you can choose, let me show you. You can choose run the selected tests or run the all tests here. Okay. So this is what I just typed in actual result for the step three. Okay, let's go to Octane to check the run.
in report tab we can see the step is filled and here we see actual result what I typed in Sprinter and the image here. Okay, let's see the defect. So the defect is what I just created in Sprinter. We can see the clear description of the defect and in the attachments tab of the defect we can see the image what I captured when using Sprinter and this image is automatically created by Sprinter. So that's it.